Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 13th of 2021. Well, it is titled Rosetta's Comet in Gemini. So what do we see here? Well, this is the comet known as 67P Shiryumov Gerashmenko. And what we see here is an image of it taken on November 7th. And as it was coming towards its closest approach, kind of in between its closest approach to the sun and to Earth. So this would be about the time it is most prominent, prominent in the sky. And that was not still not a very bright comet. It is not as bright as other comets that we've seen in the past, a relatively faint one. And at this point, it was less than half the distance between the Earth and Sun when it came closest to Earth. However, because it is not a very prominent comet, you still need a telescope or binoculars to be able to see it. However, it is an important comet because it is probably the best studied comet that exists. And that's because the Rosetta spacecraft, and that's why we call it Rosetta's Comet, had explored this during its last approach several years ago, and actually orbit around the comet as it came by the sun and was able to study it over the course of a year as it approached closest approach to its to the sun, and then started to head back out. And in fact, the Rosetta spacecraft is still there no longer orbiting the comet when its mission was completed, it was actually crashed into the comet. So it is coming back in here. Uh, Rosetta spacecraft is included as a part of this comet. Now when we look at the comet, we see the halo around the head there and the tail stretching back to the right hand side. However, the that the main part of the comet is the nucleus which is invisible here. And that's one of the things Rosetta was able to study for this comet. And it's invisible because it is very small. It is just a small dot at the center here. And completely uh, obliterated by the other material around it. So it's completely obscured by all of this material. So we cannot actually see that. And that's one of the reasons Rosetta was sent there was to be able to study the nucleus up close and see how it might change as it approached the sun. So the nucleus itself is something we have not been able to see uh, for a comet uh, until the advent of spacecraft that could actually travel out to the comet and give us a look into the inner workings of these ancient relics from the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for November 13th of 2021. It was titled Rosetta's Comet in Gemini. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be what that was. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.